Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. Uh, this is me reading for a Gemini. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And um, we still have Mercury, Mercury in retrograde. So if I'm like stumbling on my words, uh, Mercury rules the planet of communication. That's kind of why. Um, so if you're having issues with communication, that's why. Uh, we also still have Venus in retrograde, which rules the planet of love. Um, Uranus already went direct, so you could be feeling like things are easier, more in the flow of things. Um, we also had a full moon in Cancer on January 17th. So if you've been feeling more emotional, that's kind of why as well. But okay, Gemini, you versus them. January 23rd and 24th, 2022, Gemini. Two more shuffles, you versus them, Gemini. January 23rd and 24th, 2022, Gemini. Last shuffle. So, Gemini, you're going to be getting more money here with the abundance. Um, keep a positive mindset. That is going to manifest exactly what you want. Oh, with the clock here, it's just going to take some time. Or just like if you're dealing with someone and you're wanting it to grow, that could take some time because there's still some cycles you guys have to get out of. Healthy choices. But I feel like um, you're overall you're being a positive person, keeping a positive mindset, even in your relationship, talking. Uh, you could just be talking to people, talking to this person um, about ending the relationship. Like, some of you guys could be ending the relationship, um, keeping a positive mindset about new. Some of you guys could be... Well, it's kind of... That's the main energy here is that one, but... Uh, some of you guys could be talking um, just to people. Meanwhile, you're waiting for someone to come back. That you probably ended it or they ended it with you. The golden mirror. But this person could have been kind of narcissistic. So that could be why it's like you're just waiting for them to come back. Self-indulgence. And for now you're just worried about yourself. Others of you guys, again, uh, you're going to get a lot more money. And you could be ending a relationship. But let me see. Gemini versus then January 22nd. And, well, 23rd and 24th, 2022, Gemini. January 23rd and 24th, 2022, Gemini. Oh, last shuffle. January 23rd and 24th, 2022, Gemini. With the Ace of Cups, I feel like uh, overall you have a lot of self-love right now. Especially with this talking card, I feel like you're doing a lot of interacting with people. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you could kind of have a wall up when it comes to love. Or just, um, you have very healthy boundaries with the Emperor card as well. It's like, you're living in your boundaries, you're being healthy, um, you're just speaking up. I feel like you've mastered a lot in your life. With the Judgment card and the Moon card, you could still be making decisions about how you feel about certain things. But, yeah, some of you guys could have ended a relationship and you're just focused on new. And this person will be coming back after they fix their finances. Some of you guys don't want to take this person back. You're just focused on yourself right now. You're not really focused on them at all. Um, and I feel like this person has a lot of regrets at how, just how they reacted about things. You know, they could have cared a lot about money or about where your money was going or what you were doing for money or, you know, they just cared a lot about money. And I feel like here you're making a decision about the things that you're wanting and you're moving forward in alignment and you're getting that stuff. So like you just, it's, it's a good reading for you. You have self-love for your person though. Um, you might not really be spending time with them. Uh, they could be missing you right now, but with the Empress here, they have a lot of unconditional love for you. It's like this could be kind of difficult because they're just waiting, wondering how things are going to play out, trying to be strong here. 
Could be a Leo or a Libra that you're dealing with. Uh, what's that two of wands, five of cups, Gemini? January 23rd and 24th, 2022, Gemini. Two of wands, five of cups, Gemini. King of Pentacles. See, this person's going to be reaching out to you here, or they're just going to be mentioning how they feel, like if it's someone you're with, they're going to be mentioning how they feel bad about certain things or how they've changed their mind about certain things. And it's just because they're becoming more open-minded that they're able to um, to speak about these. What's the Five of Cups? Gemini's person. January 23rd and 24th, 2022. What's the Five of Cups? Gemini's person. But this person, I feel like um, they keep focusing on shoulda, coulda, woulda, on what's not being done, on them not being good enough. And that's kind of why they're holding back. And you see that king, queen of pentacles, five of pentacles, page of pentacles. It's like this person cares a lot about money or stability or time, like what you spend your time doing. And I feel like they kind of have it twisted with the Seven of Cups. It's like they're worried about things that they shouldn't be worried about. It's the Seven of Cups, Gemini. You versus them. Thank you. And it's just because they love you. Um, to the point where it might kind of be smothering. So, what's the Five of Cups, Gemini's person? I feel like they tend to make things complicated. They just need to have more faith. Like, that's the honest truth. They need to have more faith. With that arrow, it's have faith. Love is coming. So, I feel like um, you two are talking. And they need to have more faith. That, you know, everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about what you're doing. You know, they should only worry about themselves. You know, um, justice. That's, that's in alignment. You know, that's just being open-minded. Now, what is that two of swords? Nine of Pentacles, Gemini. This is Toy Story, Gemini. Nine of Pentacles, Gemini. January 23rd and 4th. See, it's like some of you guys could have ended a relationship. Or you're just ending things with this person. Like, if they're always wanting to talk about shit, it could have, what if it's like, I'm not going to have this conversation with you anymore. It's like, you're just ending that. What is that Nine of Pentacles? The King of Wands, the Magician, Gemini. January 23rd and 24th, King of Wands, the Magician, King of Wands. Thank you. I feel like this person just tries to rush things. And it's like, um, it's like they're still hurt over certain stuff. And this is like a new person, past person. Or just someone you're with. They're still hurt over stuff. And so that's kind of why they are extra clingy. What's the Grim Reaper? What's ending? Gemini, January 23rd and 24th. What's the Grim Reaper? What's the Grim Reaper? Gemini, January 23rd, 24th, 2022. So, what's not ending is the fear. Like, the fear, the hesitation, the doubt, that's still happening right now. And it could be because you're not really spending time with this person. And they're missing you. And you tend to hold back. It's the Nine of Cups, Gemini, the Chariot. You could also be dealing with the Pisces. The judgment, the moon, the chariot, or cancer, Gemini, January 23rd, 24th, 2022. So it could kind of be like this person doesn't really know how to speak up. It's the nine of cups, Gemini, January 23rd, 2022. Thank you. And it's just that you want to take it slow. Like, you're not trying to 
go off fast and be smothered and be clingy like this person is with the chariot Gemini. And I feel like them, you know, they're still here. They still love you. They're not really focused on material possessions right now. They're just wanting to know what you're doing with your time and money. Like, they just need to have faith. With the moon and the chariot in Gemini. January 23rd, 24th, 2022. We have the star card. So there's still some healing taking place. I feel like um, you have a lot of money and stuff coming in for you. Your wishes are coming true. You can also be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but again, I feel like this person tends to not be able to speak up. and Or you're not telling them, like, can we just take it like, I'm just focused on me right now. That doesn't mean I'm not with you. Like, why can't I be with you while working on myself? Like, please just give me some space. I'm not going to leave you. It's just, you know, I want to work on myself. Like, uh, you could be not communicating that. But I feel like, again, they're extra clingy because they're still pain here. Like, they're still hurt over certain stuff. You could also be dealing with the Libra. But Gemini, you versus them January 23rd and 24th, 2022. Gemini, January 23rd and 24th, 2022, Gemini, you versus them, last shuffle. So mediumship, overall, um, you have the natural ability to, to connect with people. Uh, that means like with spirits as well. You could be needing to clean up your diet too, um, but ear chakras, Notice the messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from external sources and within your mind. You see, they're the most high, the creator, the universe, like spirit guides, um, all that. You know, they're trying to speak to you. So, Gemini, you versus them. January 23rd, 24th, 2022, Gemini. So, the only message we have here is shield yourself. So protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies. Exactly. That's all it is, is they're stuck kind of in fear. That's what this uh, Nine of Wands is upside down on the Grim Reaper. What's not over is all this fear, the doubt, the hesitation. Um, but protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So just picture like a bubble that only allows love, pure intentions in and healing light in because power animal i feel like um your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with the situation like if you have any pets or anything like that um all animals right now even humans we're considered animals you know so i feel like there's people that are trying to people in general close to you are trying to help you out with this situation you know the spirit guides and everything trying to help you out with the situation but there's a lot of fear around you and you kind of need to protect yourself so try to manifest like a bubble around you that only allows pure intentions healing and loving but all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and close it out there if this resonates with you you guys are more than welcome to like share leave a comment and subscribe i'm wishing you guys so much love please take care of yourselves i'll be talking to you guys later thank you bye